Welcome back everyone to Zurich Crypto Journal. Today we see the price of Bitcoin recovering. We are again towards $59,000 and uh, yeah, we expect the 26th of uh, March. So in a few days we will going to have the options expirations. So we could have a really positive impact on the price. And uh, for today I wanted to show you uh, something that I found it really interesting about BitCloud. It's returning, it's coming back. For the people that don't know what it is, actually they are creating, is a website creating digital tokens about big celebrities or personalities. And those tokens, for example, we have Elon Musk, is traded this token at $70,000. And then there are other very, very famous people like Katy Perry or also Justin Bieber, for example. And yeah, what is the value of that? Again, I think we are in a discovery phase. They are trying this kind of... Uh, tokenization of the world into digital space into cryptocurrencies and probably I don't I don't see the value long term of that but I see that could be those are like trials or like those are like startups or experiments right and uh, there is a lot of hype on that but uh, yeah why not in the future maybe we could have some kind of tokenization uh, something similar it could be adopted for other use cases and recently we had a big increase in the price of uh, Cardano. So after the listing you see here uh, versus Bitcoin. But again, zoom out. I mean, uh, you see that it goes up most of the times, but then it retraces back. For the people holding Cardano, they made a huge profit for sure. Uh, probably sometimes even uh, outperforming uh, Bitcoin. Uh, but if you look at the long term, there was a big increase on of uh, ADA versus uh, Bitcoin that was in the, in the yeah in actually February 2018 a few years ago but then from then it went down drastically versus Bitcoin so in my opinion again uh, the use case here is to compete with uh, uh, Ethereum and again I think the safest bet is uh, Bitcoin but of course uh, people made huge uh, uh, profits also with Cardano and as a speculation is interesting and also that could be some use case but at the moment I will say the easiest way to trade is to go to Ethereum or to uh, Bitcoin and also Itoro CEO is speculating about uh, why we have this big increase in prices I will say institutions adoption that's one and also uh, the COVID pandemic I mean here we have uh, we see massive stimulus and we saw the 1.9 trillion not billions but trillion uh, touching um, happening actually today from President Biden. So how much of this money is going to go into Bitcoin? I mean, this is going to also have a positive effect on Bitcoin. Many people are going to buy Bitcoin with this stimulus check. And also here, I wanted to show you, um, now we can have Cardano on Coinbase. Again, that's uh, um, the price we had at the beginning was uh, higher than everywhere else. So people were buying like crazy. And there was kind of an arbitrage because the price was really $1.8 per Cardano. And this was much higher than other exchanges. So people could have profit from that. There was a really big, big difference. And again, here I have a... Uh, a bad news. This is concerning uh, Bitcoin Swiss. Uh, again, they didn't receive the authorization to operate as a bank. And here I have also articles in English that I they can show you that. I mean, uh, they applied for a license a long year ago, uh, long times ago, and then they didn't receive the authorization from from Bern. So this is a bad news, and I don't understand. I mean, the, the, the regulatory scrutiny said that they had to comply with money laundering rules. And yeah, of course, even banks did really uh, perform really badly on that sense. So I think it's a kind of a way to um, let banks uh, take this business. But this business is really interesting for real banks, existing banks, and they don't want to leave it to new banks that are going to disrupt the, the, the system so I think there is a lot of lobbying power from that but this is my opinion as always do your own research this is not financial advice but uh, yeah that's that's my opinion and then I want to show you here again we have uh, again Bank of America saying uh, actually two days ago saying that Bitcoin is just a speculation uh, I don't think so I think Bitcoin is here to stay and while there is some speculation there are some fundamentals values that are undeniable and then they say that, yeah, this asset is uh, just uh, impractical for 
payment and store of wealth, store of value. I think for store of value, it works pretty well already, even if there are some uh, things that we can do better. But it has something unique. It's something so different from other things that people like it and it works. And I think it's limited, it's scarce. And then Sahar City today, in a, in a world where they print like crazy, well, we have a new gold and in uh, underpriced gold, right? If it's gold or payment, I mean, payment, we have second layer uh, solutions. We have different pa kind of solutions that we can use. So I think it's just a matter of time. You cannot ask for, uh, yeah, for a new technology to, uh, to be perfect, right? And it's already better than many other things that we already have and people want it. And so I'm really, I'm not uh, shocked by these um, I mean, I, those remarks doesn't surprise me a lot, but also it doesn't make so much sense to me. I mean, they're just trying to buy for a cheap price. That's probably the reason why they do these kind of uh, negative comments. And it's good that they do that because it shows that they are, for me, they are trying to buy behind these uh, curtains. I mean, and they try to make the price go down a bit. That's the only reason why I see, I see that because they, oh, it's like criticizing something that is so new and is already working so well. <laughs> And yeah, the innovation will come. I mean, we have so many things that we can do with Bitcoin. I saw that recently Square, like a Jack Dorsey app that uh, the CEO of Twitter and, uh, and also of the Square. And it's starting to uh, help you to move Bitcoins with no cost. So you could pay potentially with zero cost through an app. Third party is not the best way. I think there are different ways to do it without a third party. But even if, why not? Why not using Bitcoin as a currency if I can pay everywhere? And this can happen. This is not something that we can say it's impossible. It is not. Uh, we can buy Tesla. We can buy Tesla with Bitcoin. But in the future, maybe we can even buy to the grocery stop, uh, shop, right? We can buy some apples with Bitcoin. And the cost will be zero because they will do a transaction. The bank or Square for us will do a transaction at the end of the day. And that's it. That's very really easy. I mean, they, they don't have to move the Bitcoin all the time. They just have to take uh, account of all the Bitcoins that are spent. And at the end of the day, they move some money or Bitcoin from one bank to another, like a, with a clearing house. And this is possible. I don't see, I think it's possible. And many banks, every, every banks in the planet start to understand that from BlackRock, from JP Morgan, from Goldman Sachs, for, yeah, so many banks, as, as you want to mention, I mean, and again, I want to show you something interesting. I'm also invested on uh, miners and I think uh, it was a good uh, choice at the end because they are outperforming Bitcoin. Some of them are Riot. I own some of Riot. I also own some of Ive, Marathon as well. I, I sold Mara. Uh, I thought there was more, in, most interest, more interesting to own some Riot because they own more Bitcoins. What I'm very interesting is the Canadian Hat 8. Uh, I think uh, they haven't performed so well yet. So, but they own a lot of Bitcoin and they are overperforming Bitcoin in it, nevertheless. So uh, the Canadians, I think they are laggards versus the Americans. Those are the Americans ones. You see that they move really close, Mara and Riot. But look at the Canadians. I mean, we have Hive that is more in Ethereum. They are, Ethereum is also overperforming a bit Bitcoin. So they are kind of expressed in Canadian dollars, or maybe they're printing, printing less Canadian dollars. That's also why there is less inflation in price. That, that could be one reason. But um, I'm really bullish on Hat8. I bought uh, many of them and they are performing really well because they are overperforming Bitcoin. And if Bitcoin will go to 100,000, to 200,000, to 1 million, I let you imagine how the price of this stock will go. I think uh, what's interesting about Riot or Mara, you can also have options. So you can also amplify your profit. I also traded some options that I sold recently. So I just uh, cashed in. But uh, yeah, you can also have options on that. And last of the news, uh, some positive news. Again, there are also huge forecasts coming in. So from one side, we have negative haters or negativity. Uh, but from the other side, we have positive um, news so one is that bitcoin is adding to 150,000 sooner or later this year this is a uh, uh, william quingley uh, it's a venture capitalist an early adopter of crypto so but i think that's not as crazy as it sounds i mean if i would have told to someone and what we were telling to people that the price of bitcoin will go will, will skyrocket and uh, when it was at 10,000 that's exactly what we were saying but people were saying yes it's it's not going to happen this is not true and people could not believe it. And look at it now. I, I want to show you now. It's 60,000 per Bitcoin. 
Can you imagine that? Do you see this number? This is real. This price is real. It's $60,000 per Bitcoin. And what we are saying now that this price is not yet, that's cheap. A uh, sound to it may sound because the number, the amount of money, $59,000 is not, uh, is a lot. I agree. But uh, for an asset like that, if it is asset is gold, uh, we need much more. And this asset will be 500000 probably, in my opinion. So, as always, thank you very much. And 